This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Shalom Uvracha. So we are in the second chapter of Bereshit. Um, in the fourth verse. So that's how the Creator created heaven and earth, while they have been created, like we explained in the last session. When God made earth and, and sky and heaven. And all flowers and all and all all grass all vegetables and fruits they still haven't been on earth and the grass of the fields haven't uh, came out to the surface yet because there was no rain because the creator didn't brought the rain yet and the person still haven't start working and bringing out all the crops. We can see from those verses how um, how true and how deep is this very meaningful understanding that the creator he is the creator of the universe and there is nothing natural in how things are growing and taking place in the world it's all 100 percent the will of heaven we read already that the creator created earth and then he created the water and then he sent the water to their places to the seas and then he created all the uh, the, the fruits and the, the trees, the vegetables, all the grass and everything. Now he's creating all those things and like where they are. He's creating them in power. Like we learned about the light and the darkness. That in the beginning, in the first day, the Creator already declared that they're going to be light, so there was light. And then He's creating darkness, and, there, and there's darkness, darkness appears. But still there's no sun. He hanged the sun, and lean, depend, connected the light to the sun only after creating the sun. So the light is not really a result of the sun shining. The sun is shining because the Creator wants it to shine. Because the Creator depends, the Creator took the light and, and, and connected it with the sun. But the light was an uh, earlier creation, before of, of the sun comes to the world and appears as a star in the sky. Now. The same thing is, come, is being revealed right now in those verses. After the Creator already created trees that are making fruits and their seeds are inside of them and grass that holds seeds inside of it and like all this explanation we thought to ourselves oh it's a green garden, trees are blooming, flowers all the, over, over the place, fruits in so many colors, nothing. Nothing was there yet. It's all in the mind of the Creator. And then the Creator decided that He wants it all to bloom, all to rise above the surface, but there was no rain. So the Creator is showing to us His will to bring down rain to the world. But because He hasn't done that yet, so He has a different decision how to bring out all the fruits. So what is he commanding? That a certain steam will come from under the surface, from underground, and will water the surface and the earth, the ground. 
Vayitzer Adonai Elohim et Adam, and the Creator made the man afar min Adama from the earth, from the earth itself. Vayipach be'apav nishmat chayim, and he put inside of him the soul of life, a living soul. Vayi Adam le'nefesh chaya, and the man became a living spirit, a live and exist human being. Now, when we're saying that the Creator created the man to be made out of earth, so the Rashi is saying to us, Tzavar Afaro Mikola Adama Me'ar Baruchot. He took earth from four wings of earth. He took it from every point in the world. And with that, he built the figure, the physical body of the human beings. And then he put a live spirit from within himself. He, rev he gave us something from his inside, his spirit, and put it into those physical bodies. Now every person that came out to the world since then is carrying a body that is connected to his earthen source in a way and also contains and holds a spiritual soul, a godly soul, a portion of heaven inside of him. So in that way we can understand that every person can be the lowest of all other people in a certain way and for that he needs to be humble to understand that he is a physical creation connected to earth in a way that no one else in the world is you have your lackings you have your weaknesses you have your downs you have your fallings you have your your labor you have you have your limitations and in the same time inside of you there is a godly soul that is coming from a divine source that no one else on earth has. So you're also special and unique and godly and treasured inside of you a certain unique and beautiful light that no one else in the world has no access to. For that every person must reveal and find out who he really is to know who we are to check the nature of our physical body, to be aware to our weaknesses and to our abilities, to our power and, and to our weaknesses and to know exactly what we're able and capable of doing. And from the other side also to be aware to our soul and to go and to illuminate and to shine the light that's been treasured inside of us. When we're not doing that, we're blocking the light of heaven because the Creator treasured inside of us that talking spirit, that hearing spirit, that creative spirit, that talented and gifted spirit. And we must use it because for that it been given to us. So the Creator planted that garden in Eden, Mikedem, and that was the ancient place, means that it was a place that was not affected by time. That place of heaven was in a way similar to the world that we're living in, means that it had ground, it had trees, it had the physical shape, but still, it was above the place. It was in a spiritual dimension. It was superior. It was, it was, it was very um, special. It held much more spirit than the world that we know as our world today. And over there, he put the man that he created. So the Creator brought out from the ground kol etz nechmad lemar'e all kinds of nice trees that looked so nice vetov lemachal and good for, for food for they were edible 
ועץ החיים and the tree of life בתוך הגן, inside the garden, ועץ הדעת, טוב ורע, and the tree of knowledge, good and bad. tree of knowledge, good and bad, maybe the most important thing to learn, to understand what does it mean, tree of, of knowledge. But when we'll get into that um, part that the snake is attempting the man and his wife to eat from the fruit, so we're going to discuss that. But the tree of life is the secret of our life, and it's the code to live eternal life. And the tree of knowledge basically is the ability um, to choose right, to define between good and bad. So those are two things that even though we're there in heaven, still were about to be given to Adam and Eve in a certain stage, only when they will reach a certain level. But when they took and ate from the tree of knowledge before time, before they were ready, so it's damaged them. And then they defected and damaged the power of free choice. And this is why we are so lost and confused in our days. And from the tree of life, we haven't even tasted because the Creator took it away from us that we won't be also selfish and also going to live forever like that. So life forms like us with physical bodies don't have eternal life in our physical bodies only after the soul leaves the body so the body goes down back to earth and the soul is rising back to heaven to live eternal life but in potential of our creation the creator wanted us to achieve that level that we will uplift also the physical bodies to an eternal dimension to that place of eternal life that we will be immortal but we miss that opportunity after, while sinning and after the sin and when we will fix it completely and will rise back to the place we have started from that place of Kedem those earlier days we will reach it again that spiritual level of being one with the Creator means time of redemption, means time of salvation, means after Mashiach will come and will heal us all. So then we will reach that level that we will be able to uplift our bodies as well and to rise to eternal life with no death and we won't have to suffer anymore. Thank you very much for following and listening and from heaven they'll assist us to continue and to learn more and more always together. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.